Welcome back everyone to the Locker Room Talk Season 2. We have reached our final bonus episode for the season and today we're going on Locker Room Talk, right? So on our far, far right, we have our script writer, right, Jenny Campbell. Then on the our next side, on our left side, we have our graphic designer, Emily Catagood. Then we have on set here, Mr. Craig Ramnath, who has been assisting us throughout this season with video work, right? So right behind the camera, we have Miss Caitlin Lautan doing the video work today. And myself, the, the host, and then the we call myself the guest. Yes. <laughs> wow. Nathan <laughs> Hanku. And I was. And I'm your host, <laughs> Stefan. Nice to see you all again. All right, so today we just locker room talk and we all talking. No, they're yeah, locker room though. Yeah. Study room. Study room, study room. We study room talking. We're study room talking. Because we're kicked out to the last location again. You need a wee. Yeah, this is our running theme with us. We are nomads. Yeah, yeah. boy. As men tend to be. Mm. <laughs> so, the conversation today is a locker room talk conversation, so we're going to start off hot and heavy, right? Oh. Where we are is the SAC, the Student Activity Center study room. We went around, well, SAC mean, right? And we were asking people, right? Myself, Stefan, as well as one of the other members of the production team, Gabrielle, right? We were walking around asking people what they would like to see talked about on locker room, right? One of the questions that came up was what are the spaces in UE that people can actually be using to study, right? Because some persons are concerned about um, there not being a proper space in the study room to really take a time and study, especially because all right outside soccer is very loud, right? People always they play in the cars and whatnot and they're having a good time as it's a student activity center, they will be doing student activities there, right? But they're really looking for a good place where I could just chill and relax. And my first advice would be library. Yeah, sure. library. Library. Dang. Huh. What's up with all these books? Library. There's individual study rooms, group study rooms. Mm -hmm. And the library enforces yeah. rooms, so yeah. they have yeah. to be quiet. They have, they have to be free. Yep. Otherwise, bye bye. Mm -hmm. And you have. You get banned for a week, actually. Yeah. And you have a full letter of resources as well. Mm. And some of the best water from the dispensers. Yeah. 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 You all don't think like LRC Greens is also a good place just to like enjoy nature and kind of get peace while you're studying as well? I, I agree, but not really to study, more like to the. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No, but I know like some people like to study in nature and that works for them. Yeah. So like if you spread mm -hmm. a blanket on the ground well, and you have your eats mm -hmm. and your treats and you have your books and whatever content you're using, then some people use that as an opportunity to study. Mm-hmm. Because well, it's a good option. Yeah. Because can they just copy from there? Yeah. Yeah. Can they get from there? Yeah. But I had to fish out ants two days after out of my laptop. <laughs> 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 so oh. that is one of the main so fair warning if you decide to go there. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so, but, um, Jenny, what about in Mount Hope? Do they have those kind of spaces? Well, we do have a medical sciences library. So again, that's also a place where other students go and conduct their studies as well. As SRC, not SAC, SRC. So at Mount Hope, we have a student recreational center. Um, which has study rooms upstairs. The only um, stipulation is they only open 24 hours. Only 24 hours, I think it's like up to 6 in the morning, um, only in exam time. Ooh. On a regular, on a regular day throughout the term, SRC June closes at 6 p.m. Six. Yeah. Not bad. But yes. for all the students to oh. be in, because they all spend longer hours uh. at work. In, well, studying also. Well, I mean, that's subjective. 
<laughs> okay, oh my god. Future doctors. <laughs> That's subjective. <laughs> But it is similar to how um, like the Admiral Journal Library does how it's studied to 24-7 for their exam. Mm, true, true. But yeah, you just open 24-7 more during the day. Yeah, yeah it's it's much 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 they close from, I think, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. to clean and then they open up to us anyway. Yeah, true. I do study. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Maybe at all. I hired people from yesterday, I'm a salto. <laughs> <laughs> Library study room, in my opinion, is not ventilated. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. That's our main campus problem. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. I hold my tongue. I hold my tongue. <laughs> you know, we put the best forward for our future doctors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 If we have a? Atrium. The big glass wall with trees and things like that. Like an amphitheater. Yeah, we do. Mm-hmm. They have horses. They have us to be very With horses. Horses. Like me? I think that was a game. I was only going on six. But um, if we were not giving main campus enough credit, the scenery on main campus is much better than on mountain. When you enter Mongto, yes, yes. it's very, it's very dreary. Especially when you apply the industry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why is it the traffic is getting up to the compound? Yes. The mountain views. Yes. Very yes. nice. True. 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 Because if you look at the city page, right, there's a picture of a sunset in engineering right now. Right? Who took it? Some talented photographer. So I'm talking to the photographer. MGM Productions, yeah, yeah really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We don't know who it is, but yeah. some people have called me a genius. Like I don't agree. It does reflect it looks the really good. Then. Yeah, it looks very good, right? And you get to see the scenery because if you ever walk up on the top of engineering, you get to see the whole campus, and it's very nice. Yeah. I'm also to get to see the highway and the. Wow. <laughs> you know those sunsets really do give you hope when you take a walk to the upper engineering. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Really give you hope. Say that <laughs> <laughs> okay, so another question that was brought up, right? Mm-hmm. Is the university has a lot of couples in it. Everybody knows that. Yeah. And a lot of persons, when we talk to them, were concerned about the PBA, right? The public displays of a right? And the thing is, if you read in your faculty booklets, you will see that each faculty has its own rules against public displays of affection and those type of stuff, right? So, what do you guys think about it? Keep it private. Yeah. I want to see hand holding yeah. surface and yeah. I you single. Yeah. Damn! Eh. No. So, so, it's so, so. I, I think they should just have like settle them as well. Yeah. I like yeah. 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 I feel like, yeah, my other displays of affection is fine, but not to the not extent that... Not making the greens, please. I'm trying to run to my class on your whole hands and shoe. Please, I, I beg. As a student in this institution, I beg, right? <laughs> I am trying to get to my class on time. Do I not conjoin your toes? Don't please. block the walkway. That's okay, no place. <laughs> I would like to reach the class on time. I have to see you on my way to get. Okay. I think yeah. though, as a as we go to students, we need to build a little bit more tolerance to these things because like anywhere in the world, or even outside of the UE, even in the workplace, in your community, you'll be exposed to couples and would you tell them when you see them on the street, don't hold hands or don't kiss. And I understand that yes, it's an academic institution, but at the same time we are all grown adults and I feel like persons should feel free to express their love interest and 
display their affection to their loved ones and I think that most of the time most of the time we hear it coming from single people who just bit us up when they see these people happy in their relationship it's like you don't want to see it Madam Speaker we object Overruled <laughs> Yeah. No, not the almost all of them. Not necessarily. Most of them do that, especially off the shops. Off the shops? But like all main point was, we don't mind minor mind mind. displays of affection. Mm -hmm. It's the dramatic ones, like yes. making all the degrees, blocking parts, because in, you need a power. I walk in the hearties and I see some cars shaking. But that's not your oh. business. Why is that what you? So, this what is are you doing? This is about your holistic development as an individual and your love interest is part of that. Trying to be a holistic individual. My whole thing is, is once it's not sexually offensive, I find it's pretty normal. Well, right? like the teachers in preschool, um, in preschool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Some of my teachers from secondary school are on campus full of like their education. I don't need to see a person I respect walking with their partner and kissing in public. What happened to that? They didn't do that in secondary school? They did it, so. Okay. Okay, so I, I agree on both sides, right? Not because. I like to agree with both sides, but because I agree, the space of affection, they could go ahead, they could do what else, what else, whatever you need to do. Right? Just don't be over dramatic about yeah. it. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they have some limits, some extent to where, okay, it shouldn't really be doing that. Because we have laws in the country as well against those kind of things, right? Yeah. Well, I, my, my take, stay within your rules. Stay within your yeah. rules. Mm -hmm. be, be mindful of all the people around you. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay, it goes, but do it where nothing oh, happens. Off campus. Corners off campus. Yeah. Not where students frequent. <laughs> but that's the same for us. I need the place we are currently filming in. Yeah, not inside here. Not inside here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get more of them inside here. Yeah. Yeah. We here for the AC and the vibes, not the mm. vibes. Right. So we have with us behind the camera, Roxas, as well. Hey. So, what do you think about it? Yes. There's a time and place for everything. Mm. I agree that your students, you're going to see someone you're interested in, and you might want to say, oh, you know, so some sort of affection, but it doesn't have to be latent or dry, reaching out, trying to hold up. That's not necessary. That's mm -hmm. necessary. Either for your apartments, your home. Yeah. But you're school, you're student, you're coming for your education. Exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. So, there was another question, right? And you see who's, I didn't answer anything. I'm not saying, I'm just enjoying it. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. All right, so the next, next question was, when I first came to you, actually, I was like, why do you have to walk so far away? Like? Right? For example, I have an argument to argue for this <laughs> For example, right? My minor is in film studies. I have to walk all the way in the back of TLC to reach the my class. Yeah. What do you, how far do you even know where the back of TLC is? What about where SLE is where we currently have a class? Exactly. Or oh, what about um, walking all the way to right the DCFE? Oh, cool. you, can, you can't yeah, walk that. You have to get the Yeah, I feel it follows um, theater students and, and DCFE students, man. But I was thinking, why does we go have like a rent a bike system? Yeah, right. I feel it's due to that confession. What? You post the confession, but why you don't have I'm not on like confessions. I'm not on confessions. Make okay. it up. Clear, I'm not on You don't have to be on confessions. That's not on the I know. It is not. Anyway, right? So I want to ask Mr. Bradshaw, who you also on the episode two. I want to ask Mr. Bradshaw, who you also on the episode two. I want to ask Mr. Bradshaw, who you also and he said that, well, it was proposed at one point in time, but due to circumstances, it was not able to come to fruition. <laughs> right? <laughs> Support um, these initiatives. As such, I think that should be something for further discussion. What do you think about our rental bike system in UE? Like, at different points around the bike and return it, either at the same point at a certain time or at the next point at a different time. 
How would you pay for it? Cash? Well, I would say it would work like how we do the library class. The print stuff in the library, you put money on your ID card, it's a library. These have a lot of uses. Mm. And then you pay so it at the different points, you pay overdue, they will direct it to student admin or something like that. I or agree. even the ALOSIS. And if not, you get an AR hole. Because yeah, yeah. Um, I yeah, think that's, that's, that's a lot of extreme. Yeah. <laughs> that's a really good suggestion, though. But just to be a bit controversial, I feel like people need to walk. You know, exercise is important. You know, it builds the vital capacity of your lungs. You know, want to ensure that you exercise. You know, there are cardiac benefits as well. It's like it's not even a form of exercise and a sport. sport. Yeah, but it's not, it's not, it's not exercise, it isn't it? Not the um, scooter bikes you're speaking of. No, I'm sure right in. I'm sure right in. Yeah, scooter bikes would be. A little too. Yeah, that would be kind of costly. Yeah, that, that's, that's not saying too much. Yeah. And there's a higher chance of it getting stolen. Yeah, because yeah. people do bring their bikes to you and they ride around, right? Yeah, people sure like have no bikes. The guy with the skateboard or even if you... We have no bikes for us. Yeah, we have a no bike skateboard to roll skates, all those things. I see really? some boy roll skates, yes. Yeah. I see a boy skate boy skates. Interesting. Very interesting. If not for Apple, I wouldn't be like... My campus is too big, in a sense, that walking, you're wasting time walking. Yeah, especially like how we had back to back classes last semester. Having a class at two that ends at three, then you have a class from three to four. And some teachers and lecturers start to say they take it the entire time they are allocated. Mm -hmm. And then you have to figure out a way to sprint from FSS to SOE, School of Education by not being. Uh, so I'm going walk if you all don't know. Yeah. 20 minutes are walking real slow. I'm making nothing like <laughs> seven minutes. My name is Nora West Allen, the fastest woman alive. Okay. Fun song for the youth. Once I have my little fan, mm. the heat, don't worry. I fear yeah. I'm unfortunate in this situation. <laughs> No, I, I agree as well. Like, the walk is really helpful and stuff like that. But, us are still the champions, right? Why do we have to go on? Walk all the way across, maybe by Daga or um, JFK to do an event. Or TCD. I'm yeah. oh, sweating. Yeah. It all look good. It all look good, yeah. And any perspiration is going to be higher, too. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And keep in mind, we will be perspiring while also trying to look presentable for people. Mm. It puts us in a little disposition. I'm behind the camera most of the time. Yeah, Tim. And then, if it is, for example, you have a class that's finishing. Like it was saying, three o'clock, and doing like um music or theater um course as well. Yes. And your class, let like me say, your class in GFK from from two to three, and then you have a class at four o'clock. Don't be CFA. Oh, okay. There are shuttles. Let me preface. You does have transportation systems, yeah. and they do, they do have an app so you can track them. But more or less, a lot of the times, classes run it's on the hour, and you read the shuttles also run sometimes on the hour. You never get there on time. And sorry to say, you can't put yourself first over people who have been waiting for that shuttle. Mm -hmm. And you have you have to take the L. Yeah. I take that L. How is the shuttle to Monto? Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of. Okay, this is a very touchy topic. Um, I, am, I appreciate the shuttle system actually. Um, I think it's always a good initiative to have. Noting that there are inadequacies because we as Mongo students feel like there's not enough shuttles as said to Mongo. So, you know, there are a lot of students at the faculty and there are peak times. There are times when there may be a shuttle sent. But then the students are not there. But there are times that has a lot of students, so like lunch times, anytime after four, you have to see people scrambling and pushing each other just to get a shuttle. So it's very chaotic sometimes. So, you know, at least if we could not necessarily increase the number of shuttles, but like try to redistribute the times that we said shuttles. So if you say that well, 12 o'clock in lunch hour, you have plenty of students probably having to go to and from, or after four, a lot of students have to get home. Then you see what they send two shuttles, and then you have less students trying to rush to get a shuttle. Mm -hmm. But I try not to be ungrateful. I like it. It could be better. 
Yeah, everything will always yeah. have improvement with it. No, in that sense, I really think they could reallocate the time to shop the goals because yeah. you will set the time tables, you will know when classes occur throughout the month and the same as the campus and even too far. Because mm -hmm. I have friends who are doing optometry who never get that shuffle service. I don't even have a single shuttle from Cuba to St. Augustine like maybe three times. I said it once. Like I, like it. I didn't know Texas existed. Yeah, I didn't even oh. know Texas existed. Though it's free of charge. It is, yes. It is free. Like so the world yeah. yeah. is this true. Cool yeah. It is free, but, but it, it can be yeah. improved. And of course, the shuttles also are licensed and registered for a certain amount of people. Mm -hmm. So some of you may have thought that, oh well, Quiz up with your friend. They can't do that. Yeah, that's a serious thing too. Yeah. yeah. So another question that was brought up, right, was why is it that we focusing on men's mental health? Like why? Why? Right. And to me, I'm like. We focus on it because it's not a topic that is really being spoken about and we had two seasons talking about exactly why we are focusing on mental health and like I was saying in episode two, kind of look off for that if you watch the um, the, the, the um, what is the um, credit scene in season in episode two, right, for season two, which was saying that well, kind of look off is now going to bring forth an initiative for women to get their own space to talk about their issues and locker room is doing that now. This episode is up for him. Check it out. So, what do you guys think personally from your own point of view when we start with Jenny? on well, the topic men's mental health should really be brought to the forefront. Is it that important? Well, I think it's particularly very important, especially in the time that we are in nationally and even here at the university campus. Um, you notice that among men or um, boys, you would find that a lot of them are isolated in their problems and their feelings. You don't really find men expressing themselves as much so that when they have problems, and this is generally speaking, this does not encompass every single young man out there, but you find that most of them don't really express their emotions and then they suffer in silence. So men need to know that they can speak about their problems and they can come forward and, and go to a psychiatrist psychiatrist or psychologist or even talk to a friend so that they can get the help that they need. So I think that is why this show is really important. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Amelie? Clap with your thoughts. Take a deep breath. Out. Let's hear. Men. Society. Men. <laughs> but that makes men. Men should not be. Men should be. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, but big to big, my take on this is that the reason men's mental health needs to be focused on is because society seems to love men but hate men and then they would take the idea that oh my god women need to be effeminate and all perfect and dainty and quiet but men need to be strong and brave and on their own terms let's just say powerful just for the sake of but in actuality men need to change and adapt with the times and women also need to do that and right now we going through a sphere of a point in history let's say where the generations don't know what we need. Women think they want to be dominated and they need to be powerful, but what do you want as a person? And by doing that, they take men who see this and realize, oh, women want this kind of man, so I have to be that kind of man. <clears throat> no, what do you want? And right now, I see on TikTok that women seem to want men who obsess with their hobbies, you know, like, Carpentry, I think. Yes. I just saw a TikTok guy. I don't know why. Yes. I see. That's on my TikTok. I want to chop and chop. Yes. I was just watching videos like that. 
I wish I could help myself that one day for it. Oh, yeah, see, when he's using different types of axes, like he's selling axes. Yes. And he's just, yeah. Like when he brings the arm, um, what would you slash him? So he's this guy and he wants to be boss, you know what I'm saying? So he's just, I said that was our subtle flex. That was our subtle flex, so let's see. Go off, Nick, you're getting out of the flex. But in that sense, what I'm really trying to say is right now you need to adapt with the times. Yes, men's meltdown health is important just as much as women. But society needs to understand at the end of the day. When we get cut, we all bleed the same color. Just because this happened to you in the past and this happened to him in the past, or she grew up poor and he grew up rich. At the end of the day, with people, we have emotions, we have feelings. Men health more, just as important. And if we can't fix men's mental health, everybody take each other. Yeah. That's true. We yeah. have one more response. Oh, oh so, or maybe two. two. <laughs> Our boss has just decided to walk in. What is your take on men's mental health? Let's hear it. Come on, 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 come I can really give it on, okay, let me give it to some mom with you, right? I feel as a woman, so I was in a boy, and sometimes I'm like, well, you can't go. Just to cry. I think that's where it starts. So we have to let men know that it's okay to express their feelings, and it's okay to have those feelings. Um, so for me, it's always, how are you feeling? How does this make you feel? Is this what you want? Are you big feelings, small feelings? I think it's important to start from young. And even with you guys, I always ask, how are you feeling? Yeah. When you're yeah. doing a good job, you're doing a great job, how do you feel about it? What is it doing? You know, I feel it's important. I feel men need to talk more. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. sometimes they're like, they're like, um, you ask them how to do it. I'm good. Yeah. 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 And it's okay to say, I'm not doing well. I need help. Yeah. Stop it. Get some help. You know? Because everybody feels with a watch. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. I can probably take it from another standpoint, right? It's like, I would remember that my boyfriend, he would always ask me every single day how I'm feeling, right? And I would never ask back. Like, this is initially, right? And one day I was just like, but well, I never asked him how he's feeling. And then I would stop, and then they will never know that, you know, they have all these feelings that they just need to talk out. And I also remember one time I asked him, I said, who do you open up to? Who do you confide with? And who do you tell, like, the big things to all the problems to? And he was like, the Nobody. Nobody. He's like, no, that's not the way I was. He was like, I just deal with it and move on. And I realized that with a lot of guys too, you know, they don't have that happening. They don't, even though they're going, so even though they're going to lie and think they're talking about that, they're studying other things, you know, the little things, the shallow things I would say that they would talk about. They wouldn't sit down and talk about the deep stuff. And sometimes mm -hmm. men don't want to tell their other guy friends to certain things, you know? Mm -hmm. But yeah. So, yeah. so, so yeah. Ask, okay, I have a question then. In this whole series, have you found yourself, because as a host, I guess yeah. as a team, have you found yourself talking about the feeling much more? Go to the To an extent, yes. Mm -hmm. But also, no. <laughs> I'm still being closed up, but I'm starting to talk. Mm -hmm. Just a little, a little bit. I mean, minor problems. The major one that's still trying to solve for myself because it's embarrassing. So I'm still working on it a little bit. Okay. Society. Okay. Yeah. What What is embarrassing? I read. We don't want to talk about We don't want to talk about that. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? We can't do it. You talk about it afterwards. Talk about it afterwards. Push anything in the back.
Oh, it's funny because it's true. That's season three. Season three. <laughs> season three. Season three. Oh my god. If I decide to have a ball, then just know that was all the decisions that was made. Well, I haven't spoken out more about mental health, not even just because of the show, but since before that, prior to when I realized that, okay, I grew up in a very kind of feminist led way, right? Mother was here at the house, so everywhere I went, women were in charge. First, one of the first people to teach me martial arts, women, right? So. They were always the ones that I look up to and stuff like that. And it's only after going through certain, certain um, circumstances, right, then I realized, okay, men also need a space to talk about their emotions, a space to mm -hmm. just be you, right? And like I said, being in the locker room was the only time that you really get to speak about what's actually bothering you was the actual problems you were facing, right? So I have gotten to be more open. It wasn't 100% because of the show. But <laughs> <laughs> it was a factor. The, yes, it was yeah, a factor. It was a main factor. Yes. So question, for the guys, mm -hmm. those are the in relationships. Okay, no, not in relationships. That's <laughs> across the board. Okay. To your female counterparts, Ask your how you're feeling and check up on your like that. Just check up on your well-being. Okay, right. I guess the females, let's say the females on the team. Yeah. Or oh, or oh, us. Do you think? Okay. Do you think we check up on you? Do we do a good job? <laughs> yeah. 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 First thing I mean. I'm very too scared. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Literally, I could just walk inside the office and you pick up. You okay? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. First thing I mean, as you walk in the office, hi, how are you? Doing? How are you doing? Okay. And then what do you say? Okay. I'm surviving. Yeah. So yeah. you know that other than good, this one was a very cool and this one was only head and good, this one was set and good. That's why you know they're not doing well. You're going to set up Yeah. yeah. Anyways, pass on the back, because then you know yours. Okay, I'm going out. Bye. 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 Thank you for your audience. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Well, everyone, that's all the time we have for today's show. We thank you very much for tuning in on Locker Room Season 2, the final bonus episode. And we hope to see you next time again on Season 3. Look out for that soon. Oh, season 3. Show some love and attention. With a brand new location. Is that what you can do so far? Is that right? Bye, everyone. See you soon. Take care. Bye. <laughs>